Hi, everyone. Um, so, um, I am here to talk about the lovely Colin Egan. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll, I'll just sort of pop right into it. You know, Colin and I have, uh, really, you know, right when we, right when we met, uh, when I finally got in the group, we, we sort of hit it off right away. We had a lot in common. Uh, you know, we're both like very musical. We both uh, played tennis. Uh, he played way better than I did. Uh, but um, <laughs> there's actually one thing. Um, that, uh, um, so, so I'm an ultimate frisbee player at, at my school, and um, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's about calm. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> and uh, and whenever we would play, we'd play five on five, but. Um, we always had matchups because, you know, otherwise the teams would get unfair. So Colin always had the uh, wonderful job of guarding me. Uh, <laughs> and um, so uh, I, I, I got him a couple gifts relating to that. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. So uh, the first thing is uh, I got him uh, uh, some ace bandages for all the times I broke his ankles juking him out. <laughs> Going with the roast part first. <laughs> um, and uh, the next, the next thing that I got, um, I got him was a uh, a nice little uh, homemade library card so that he could, you know, read the disc. <laughs> and there's more. And the last one. Um, is a uh, some neosporin uh, for uh, all the times I burned it. <laughs> Always the gracious way. Uh, so, um, I hope I hope that didn't break your mug column. Um, there's this phrase that we have in the high end sound, um, and it's called breaking your mug, and uh, it's basically like, oh man, that really upset me. That like really made me sad. Um, so, I mean, you can, you can sort of think about it, you know, like if somebody, if you had like a mug that you really, really liked and, uh, and somebody just, just grabbed it and just, and just smashed it, um, you'd be like really upset. I think that's, that's sort of where the origin comes from. But, um, so, so Colin uses this phrase quite a lot, but um, I didn't want that to happen to him, so I bought him a plastic mug that I, I believe will not break. Uh, and, uh, so that will, that will be nice. He also drinks a lot of coffee, too. I'm a coffee addict. So, <laughs> That's earlier. Um, uh. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I uh, thought that would be appropriate. Um, and then, uh, the, the, sort of the, the toast part I, uh, I will get to now. Um, uh, like, like Noah had said, uh, I, I have come a very long way in this group from the time I, I entered until now, and a lot of that has to do with Colin Egan. Um, uh, let's see. Um, so, uh, I did not know how to cook really anything. Uh, I, I liked soup, um, I liked Easy Mac, and uh, I remember one story in particular. Um, we. Uh, one day, it was my, well, it actually happened twice. It happened both in my first summer and my second summer. Uh, he uh, took about two hours out of, his, out of his day. Everybody else was watching Lord of the Rings in the other room. <laughs> and uh, and he, he taught me how to cook chicken. And uh, it, was, you know, it was really cool. It was, it was just the two of us. And um, it's, you know, it's certainly a memory I will, I will mem remember forever. Um, I think sort of at the heart of it, you know, Colin is not only just a great uh, role model but and, and teacher. Um, well, actually, that's what I was going to say was that he's a great role model and teacher. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> um, but yeah, so I uh, by by being around him, by uh, you know, by by being in this group with him, I have I've learned so much, and I have. Um, Honestly, it, it has absolutely affected the way that uh, that I, uh, you know, I've gone back to school now and, and used like his rehearsal techniques with my group and used uh, his approaches to life. Um, and uh, I've bought clothes that fit and that uh, look good. Uh, <laughs> and um, and honestly, it is it has changed my life uh, for the better uh, by tenfold. Um, and sort of the, the last thing I want to say was. Um, you know, uh, thinking about what you're gonna say uh, tonight can always be nerve-wracking because you know you want it to be you want it to be special and you want it to be important. But um, normally, 
uh, I get nervous uh, about talk abouts because I uh, use bad word choices and I, I, I am incoherent sometimes and I get frazzled. But um, tonight I was, honestly, I was, I was very worried that I would not um, give Colin the proper send off. Uh, that was my number one concern because um, Colin has given this group so much. Um, honestly, I think that If you listen to our next studio album, I, I think you're going to find that um, Colin, single, almost single-handedly, um, made this group the best high-end sound um, that anybody's ever heard. And that is unbelievable that I have the opportunity to, to send him off, and so I want to make sure that I do it the right way. So uh, thank you so much, Colin. Uh, from me, from everybody behind you, from everybody here, everybody would say the same thing. Thank you so much. I made him, I made him a, a little collage uh, thing. It's mostly, it's mostly our guitar solos, but, <laughs> but, uh, but it has the, uh, the Irish party blessing in the middle, and uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I, yeah. So maybe you can hang it in your apartment in New York, and uh, <laughs> thank you.